My name is Dwight Parker, and I'm running for City Council of Chesapeake. I believe that I have experience. I was there from 1995 until 2010. During that time, I served as vice mayor from 2006 to 2008. So I have experience, and I believe that my experience will help me be a better candidate and a better councilman the next time around. We have a comprehensive plan. Go as a guide, use it, but don't be locked into it. Have some flexibility because the things change and we need to be able to change as well. I believe profits are necessary, but they need to be reasonable. You know, they uh, come up and they present the pie in the sky attitude with profits, and then all of a sudden the bottom fall out of the economy, and then they come back to us asking that they have a reduction of profits. So I would suggest that we become realistic in the beginning of the process as opposed to coming back on the tail end of it. Rezoning is the, re the province of the school board. And if the school board would come up with the intestinal fortitude to rezone, I don't think there would be a need for, for additional schools or additions to schools. I believe funding, according to the Constitution, is the responsibility of the state. The city simply assists. And I think that if the school system would present the true needs of the system, then I believe that the council would recognize that because that's one of the biggest selling points when people come to Chesapeake, they say, well, what about your school system? And we talked, we have an excellent school system. Our SOL scores are uh, through the roof. And so education, if truly that's the reason that they're coming in and we need to make sure that our schools are up top notch or continue to be top notch. I think we need to pay attention to traffic in Chesapeake. Traffic on, uh, let's say 17, which is the George Washington Highway where my school is, between four and six o'clock in the evening, getting to getting down that stretch of highway is a nightmare. Likewise, Battlefield Boulevard is a nightmare. So we need, definitely need to be looking at those and see how we can make improvements where improvements are, are required or necessary.